Hey guys, today the Moto 360 first generation uh, has received its latest update. Now it runs Android Wear 1.4 1 and it has uh, support for uh, the Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 that is running on my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Uh, I, I've just got it today and I wanted to make a quick video to uh, make a quick overview of the new features. So uh, if you are wondering if it's worth uh, upgrading, uh, you get information from from this video. So first of all, I have to say that uh, the the new update uh, now works with uh, new languages. So there is support for new languages. Uh, these include Mandarin, Cantonese, Indonesian, Indonesian, Polish, Dutch, and Thai. So these new languages will be listed in the language selection before you pair your Moto 360 with your phone. And if you've already paired it, then you can switch your phone language to one of these languages. And Obviously, you have to uh, remember that when Moto 360 pairs to the phone, the watch's language is uh, sync, uh, synced uh, to the phone's language. So bear that in mind as well. Uh, the one very cool feature you've got now in the new uh, update is the dose mode. So uh, now you have dose mode on the watch as well as on the phone. So dose mode is a smart feature, as you probably already know, and it helps preserve your watch's battery life. And it will recognize uh, when your Moto 360 is idle and automatically it will go into sleep uh, and that will be a deep sleep state. Um, so basically when your watch is not charging and not in use, those modes will shut down unnecess unnecessary uh, background processes to optimize the power. Uh, also, there is screen dimming to support uh, screen dimming, as you can probably tell, um, that supports uh, battery life, and it will help reduce the battery drain of your Moto 360, and it will, it will give you extra privacy uh, by turning your watch screen off or putting it in ambient mode if always on screen is on uh, when it's not in use. So at the moment, the watch was uh, doing pretty well on battery. It was. Uh, um, lasting a day, a day, a day and a half, and probably I'm hoping that with the screen dimming and the dose mode, this will even increase to up to two days, hopefully. Uh, let's see how it goes. It's not a massive problem battery life on the watch because the charging is very, very fast. Uh, it could take, take around an hour on the charging weight, so that's not a big issue, but obviously it's good if you have uh, more time to use the watch without charging. Uh, one of the new features uh, here uh, on the latest uh, update is under settings. Uh, you now have individual permissions and you can operate these through the menu here under settings. So when you go to permissions, as you can see, uh, you get a list of the different apps. And by clicking on each app, for example, Motobody, you can enable and disable different uh, permissions that the app has. You can decide uh, what you want to be accessed through here and you can go through the, the full list if you would like and you can customize that as much as you wish. Uh, one of the massive things for this update is also the, uh, the list of new gestures. You have five new gestures and you can go through a uh, tutorial here and you can uh, Try these yourself. You have to have your watch obviously on your wrist to, to have full access to these and to try them and to uh, to complete the tutorial. So I'll just um, go through the list of these. Uh, so the first is um, you can see see, uh, see more details or take, ac take action on a card by holding your arm in front of you and pushing down quickly, then bringing your arm back slowly. Then you can go back on a card by holding your arm in front of you and quickly pivot it up, uh, then bringing back slowly to the original position. You can open the apps menu on the watch face by holding your arm in front of you and pushing down quickly, then bringing back slowly to the original position. It's a bit complicated to be honest, that's why I'm not approaching this just now by, by doing it with my uh, wrist. You can also pull down settings on the watch face. You have to slowly turn wrist away from you and then flick back towards you. Uh, probably with uh, a lot of practicing, you get there. Um, you can exit to watch face by uh, holding your arm in front of you and shake 
shaking your wrist quickly. So that would be quite funny. I think they are a good addition, but I think it would be very complicated to master these. So I'm not sure if I will use them, to be honest. Uh, you have to follow the tutorial, obviously, to get used to them as well. Uh, one of the new things uh, you also have uh, here is under settings. Now you can um, manually set the date and time zone of your Moto 360 independently of your phone settings. So I, I'll go ahead and show you. You have to go to date and time and then from here you can uh, turn on and off these uh, settings. Uh, you can swipe left on the watch face, then scroll down setting, uh, go to settings, date and time, then tap automatic date and time or automatic time zone, then select off. So obviously there you go. You can sing with the phone from the phone or you can turn it off. That's the same with the time zone. Could be useful for somebody who doesn't want the phone and watch to have the same date and time and the same time zone. Uh, According to Android, there are also some improvements on the Bluetooth uh, headset audio. So they say that they've introduced improvements that will reduce the choppy audio when listening music through a Bluetooth uh, headset while your watch is in motion. For example, when you're walking or when you're working out. So that will be useful for someone who uses the watch to listen to music. I don't really do that, but some of you guys might use it that way so th this would be interesting uh, to test out as well so these are all the features that the new Android Wear update have uh, has I I'm hoping you've liked the video and if you want me to go and show you some of the other things on that watch I'm happy to do uh, to do it if you like my watch face uh, I want to show you it's called uh, Mood of Norway and you can customize uh, different backgrounds and different cool uh, animations on it so you can search for it uh, in the Play Store and you can find it easily if that's what you want to do so thanks a lot for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video click the thumbs up button if you like the video and I'll see you in our next video thank you bye bye